Today on iPads in the Classroom, we're looking at some math apps. I'm Taylor Olson. And I'm Guy Trainin. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. We're looking at some math apps today, and we're going to start with Operation Math. And Operation Math is an app that does a lot of practice about addition. So if we click on our player name, we can edit our name here. I'll type in Taylor. And I'm going to click on my name to begin. We have a storyline given. Um, you're a secret agent and you're trying to defeat Dr. Dr. Odds, who's trying to get rid of all of the even numbers. So we'll click on our first mission. And a lovely British accent to boot for this one. We have our intro, and the objective of this app is to type in the answers to the addition problems as fast as one possibly can. We start out with really simple addition problems, 1 plus 0, 6 plus 4. As we complete it, we're following our progress on the map to the side. 7 plus 3 would be 10. We have one more left to go with 39 seconds left. I wonder if we can make it. Oh, we got through just in time. And as the levels go forward, you get harder multiplication problems, but your answer will never exceed 40. The next app we're going to look at is called MathWise. And I want to start as a, as a teacher or a parent, because that gives you the most amount of uh, flexibility. So you can plug in your email, and you need to create a password, which is not necessarily uh, complicated. And the first thing that you see as you log in is that you can see actually a graph about how your students are doing. This app allows to register multiple students, so each student can actually log in under uh, her name without any password and do the exercises and you as a teacher can look at each one of your students separately or at an average of how the classroom is doing and what you get is a score. The score is based on when the trial happened and how quickly students have answered correctly. So uh, you can look at how a student has done in different operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and uh, if I log in now as a student, you can see that a student can see her own uh, achievement, this case in addition and a little bit in subtraction there, and I can also try my skills right now, and this is addition problems, and you can see that you simply enter the answer, you get the points based on speed, so if I do this really quickly, I get 150 points, and if I do this wrong, it says incorrect and you don't get the points. And you can skip drills you don't know um, and you can also erase answers. So this is called MathWise. The next app I want to show you is an app about uh, fractions. We've done some uh, fraction apps in the past and what's important about fraction uh, apps is this is one of the hardest topics for students to understand, so apps can be really, really helpful. And this is called Equivalent Fractions, and this is from NCTM, the National Councils of Teachers of Mathematics. And what you can do here is you have the option of using either a circle or a square to simulate the portions, and you can build your own or do an automatic, we'll do an automatic, and this is a simple practice. So what you're trying to do is match other fractions that will work and will be equivalent to, in this case, 5 eighths. So you go here and you can decide how many will you have. So I'm going to go to, let's say, 16 ths. Why? Because I know I can do that math. So now you have 16th and you can choose 5 all the way to 10 
15th, and now you can see that it equals. And here I can do, I don't know, 32s. What would it be? So you can create two equivalents for each fraction. And you can see that you get the sense of how this is still one circle. And let's see if I can do it with 24s. I can get close. And let's check our answer. And you see that both are marked correct and you can get the next question. And again, we can start with questions from the machine, but actually my favorite part is when you go back, when you do build your own, that allows you to control an experiment. Uh, you can even do this in turn, so one student creates the first fraction, let's say this, and does two-fourths, and then the other two have to come up and in their turn create equivalents. So you can do this as an interactive activity. Students can really explore and create and not just respond to questions. So this is called equivalence fractions. The next step we're going to talk about is equivalence, and this is from Math Tappers, which we visited a couple times before mm -hmm. with other math apps. Um, an equivalence I'm going to play as a guest. So I just click select and done, and I will select play. The way that this works is students will select, um, I have it on a setting now where I'm matching up fractions to percentage values. So I have 50 percent which is a red square, and since I selected a red square, I know I have to select a green square next, and I know 50% is equivalent to one half, which shows matched up on the screen at the top. Um, if I move the screen sideways, it represents those values in a different fashion. We have a bar graph here with boxes and a circle chart, so students can look at that in different ways. We can also make this more easy or more difficult. Um, using these modes down here, we can do it with practicing making different fractions equivalent. We could go to a medium or hard level, much like many of the other math tappers, games and apps. And then when we go back, we have larger and more irregular fractions to match up. Again, that was equivalence from math tappers. And the next one we're going to talk about is ca called card clatter. And this is a very uh, simple app that it does one thing and one thing only. Students are expected to arrange cards in the order from smallest to largest. The one thing about this is this can get really, really sophisticated really, really quickly. So with card clutter, we can begin by either clicking start and selecting a level range, or we can select levels independently. Um, by going through this way, you can see what each level is focusing on. So while we're practicing ordering values, you can order decimals, fractions, practice with absolute values, even practice with practicing with square roots or a large mix of numbers. But we'll just start with, oh, we'll go ahead with a fractions practice. It seems to be what we do today, <laughs> fractions. We have positive and negative values, so students are getting to practice with both of those. And we'd start with the lowest negative value first, which we have negative 6, uh, negative 7 thirds, 7 fourths, 5 elevenths, 8 sixteenths. And after we've completed that level, because we just selected one, we'll be redirected to the home page. If we click to start and do a full course or the advanced course, you'll just progress until you finish all of the levels. So this one is called? Card Clutter. So today we talked about the number of apps for math. They were mostly for practice, not as much for learning, although the fraction equivalents actually help students explore and learn math and not just practice. And we had a number of apps. Yes, we started with Operation Math, which was practicing addition facts. And, and continued on with MathWise, Equivalent Fractions, Equivalents, and finished up with Card Clutter. And so this is a, an installment in Math Apps. We're going to do a few of them in the near future because it's been a long time since we, since we visited Math specifically. And there are a lot of new exciting apps out there by very good uh, app makers. So until next time.